Daily Show correspondent stunned when half of black voters in focus group say they are voted for Trump. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you don't pay attention. This is what happens when you live in your, your, your bubble. You live in your leftist bubble and you don't know how normal average Americans are suffering and, and know their thoughts about what's going on. Um, so we're going to play this clip. We're going to talk about it. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Um, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Um, also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. And that's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. All right, so let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from Mike Lachance. My second report that I'm um, doing... I, um, I've done on him in the last couple of days. Um, and he reports that the Liberal Daily Show recently featured a focus group of six black voters and the correspondent leading the group was stunned to find out that half of them are planning to vote for Trump in November. Trump did extremely well with minority voters in 2020 and is expected to do much more, do much better in 2024 i think it's going to be historic i think he's going to get more um black votes than any republican in, in history is what i think is going to happen um in in november but this is giving democrats panic attacks and it should and this is what happened when you're not listening to what what uh black people are saying what we're saying about what's going on in our communities and y'all only show up every four years and feign like you're gonna do something to help people, and you're not. And black people are on to the on to you now, and they're fed up with with these Democrats. Um, the Daily Caller reports: I didn't see that coming. Daily Show correspondent shocked black folk uh, do f with Trump. So um, I'm just gonna play the clip here. Um, here we go. All right. Here's the clip. Okay, so who will you be voting for in 2024, Daryl? Do I have to say his name? I don't want to, but more than likely, it's gonna be Trump. Yeah, okay. I believe. And I'm, a lot of black folk is reluctant to admit it, like this gentleman here. He said he really don't want to say it, but I appreciate him being honest. Um, uh, but imagine the people, the black people behind um, that's not like him, that's afraid to speak out and talk about who they're really going to be voting for. A lot of black people are supporting um, Trump, and I think it's higher than what the polls suggest because you got people like this, like I said, like this gentleman here that is afraid to tell people who he's really voting for. Yeah, unbelievable. Who are you going to be voting for? Biden. And then Victor? I'm with her. Oh, Biden, okay. Trump. Eric Trump? Biden. Mm -hmm. Biden? Trump. Okay, we're an even split. <laughs> oh. Uh, which, I, yeah, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think there's gonna be a big shift, any sort of change? I think it's gonna be a big shift. Me too. Big, big shift? shift? Yes. Big really, shift. okay. For me, I've always been a Democrat, and it's like, for, for, the, for the most part with the Democratic Party, they always make a bunch of promises that they can't deliver. You know, they use the issues of the African-American community as a soapbox to stand on mm -hmm. and yep. make promises, you know, just to get us to come out and vote. And then once we vote and everyone's in place, it's like, well, what happened? Okay, so who will you be voting for? In all right, so you heard, you heard all that. You heard what they had to say about that, which is um, black, black folk fed up. They're, they're leaving a Democrat um, plantation. Um, the article goes on to say that the host reaction says it all. Democrats just can't comprehend this. Again, they can't understand this because they live in their bubble. They they all are think the same, and they think that everyone else around the country thinks like them. Not understanding that, uh, um, if not half of the country, the overwhelming majority of the country don't think like them, and are tired of Democrats and their policies ruining America. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, 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 like. And um, check out uh, jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.